Hello, everybody. Um, Yalakin Bachi. I'm Junie Mills, um, coming to you live from Darwin, Northern Territory, Australia. And um, I'm known by a couple of other names, which you might have heard here and there, because I am a bit of a um, political activist, and you'll see me in lots of ways out there, either not playing the guitar and singing a song, maybe being a bit active. Um, and so the other names are Gun Gunlucky Nimmo and Good Billing, Mala Guligi. Um, I come from a big family, as we all do, um, Larakia, and my dad, Larakia man, with Ladla, and my mum, Murudup, Kongarakan woman, which is from the uh, Bachelor region, about 100 kilometres from here. Saltwater man, married freshwater woman, and we all live in here in Darwin, a lot of here people. And my family, we grew up with a lot of music. It's, it's a bit strange how the beginnings of my dad, how he got a guitar, and he taught himself to play a guitar. And so we grew up with, when he met mum, they sang together, beautiful, they'd sing anything and everything, pretty much the popular songs of the day. So us kids, eight of us surviving, four girls and four boys, grew up playing music and loving music. Um, and for a big part of my life, probably from the 70s, um, right up until this day, I've been singing with my sisters, uh, Alison, Barbara, Violet, and... Um, so that's me. And then later on, probably around about the 80s, I started making my own music and writing a lot of my own stuff. And mostly it's, it come, it's inspired by family, love of family, um, maybe important cultural stuff, maybe one or two of political stuff. But, yeah, and it's evolving it's <laughs> still going on we're still still writing songs so I'm going to sing a couple of songs but what I'm going to do the very first one which is actually not my song and it's mum's song and the reason why I'm singing it is because it's it's actually a territory icon now it's very famous it's called the Arafura Pearl and everybody loves it uh, me whether it's me or my sisters or mum or whatever anywhere we go there's two songs that are always requested and this is always the first one, Arafira Pearl. So I'm going to do that for you. And it really, really does put you in um, the Darwin mode. Um, yeah, so here we go. This is um, Arafira Pearl, written by my mother, Kathy Mills McGuinness. More often than not, sung with me and my sisters. On the north coast of Australia, by the Arafura Sea, there's my lovely home called Darwin, in the Northern Territory. She's the jewel of a city, and I hope she'll always be free from life's unwelcome turmoil. That can come relentlessly Oh, she's a multiracial beauty She's an adolescent girl She's a jewel of Australia She's the heir of Europe Bright tropicals around The paradise you're seeking is here for you to see like a maiden bright and fair basking in the sunshine splendor no beauty can compare she sits there strong and patient defying anything that dare bring sorrow or destruction to her people living there Oh, she's a multiracial beauty She's an adolescent girl She's a jewel of Australia She's the Arab Europe Oh, 
she's the heir of Europe. My heir of Europe. <laughs> Everybody loves that song. <laughs> I wish I had a dollar for every time I sang that one, I tell you, on repeat. Okay, so I started probably writing a lot of my stuff um, around about the 80s. And I guess I'll probably... I think you start out with my favourites um, and then we'll be, carry on. So this is one that I made for a friend of mine, Jessie very dear friend we met on the political trail political met on the political trail um fighting for East Timor back in the day for years and years and years and Jen, uh, Jesse and I that's where we met and we've been mates ever since and we'll go on forever by the way her name's Jessie Watson she comes from Bendigo big massive family nine siblings so shout out to the Watson family from Bendigo love yous Well, Jesse, how you doing? I hope you're feeling fine. I'm always thinking of you, cause you're always on my mind. And I wonder what you're doing and how you're killing time. Well, Jesse, how you doing? Dear old friend of mine Well did you look out of your window And see that big old open sky And remember what we'd done that day And then we both, we both knew why Well, I heard you went down to Watson's Creek to have a real good cry. And I wish that I was by your side to dry the teardrop from your eyes. And we'd light a fire like always and sing the whole night through. We'd still be singing at daybreak because it's what we love to do Well did you look out of your window And see that big old open sky And remember what we'd done that day And then we both, we both knew why So Jesse, how you doing? I hope you're feeling fine I'm always thinking of you Cause you're always on my mind And I wonder what you're doing And how you're killing time Well Jesse, how you doing? Dear old friend of mine Oh, dear old friend of mine, Jesse Girl. Jesse Watson, that is. <laughs> okay, now what's it? Oh, so now I'll jump to songs that are always requested. And this one is this one I'm going to sing now is Heartache Wind, which is all not Heartache Wind, Heartache Wind. <laughs> It's kind of like a homesick song, but not, it's not really homesick. It's like just really longing to be on, you know, the place where you came from. Hear those raindrops on that corrugated iron And I'm thinking of my granddad Smell that damper cooking on that open fire and I'm thinking of my jaju and that old heartache wind is calling me home yeah that old heartache 
vague wind is calling me home, calling me back home, mm -hmm. calling me back home. See those footprints in that black soil plain and I'm thinking of my daddy Hear that wind whispering in that old gum tree and I'm thinking of my mother and that old heartache wind Yeah, that old heartache wind is calling me home, calling me back home, mm -hmm. calling me back home. See those sand dunes on that old desert plain, and I. Thinking of the lone one. See that storm rolling in on that old east side, and I'm thinking of my loved one. And that old heartache wind is calling me home. Yeah, that. Calling me back home, mm -hmm. calling me back home, calling me. <laughs> I love that. Okay, I'm going to sing a song now that I wrote quite a long time ago and the crazy thing is I didn't sing it for like 15 years because I thought it wasn't any good because I actually wrote it for a health campaign. I was asked to, oh, could you write a song for a health campaign? I'm like, yeah, no worries. And it was for um, our people, Aboriginal women. Um, it's about taking care of your health. And so I wrote the song. But they didn't actually know. I had to write another one, which I didn't like. <laughs> it was funny. But the funny thing is because they said they didn't want it and I didn't sing the song for like... 15 years is just crazy. But anyway, it's a good song. <laughs> Probably my most country sounding song. Um, where are we? Um, she's a hard-working woman Trying to keep her happy home With a family to care for She's standing on her own And she's a hard-loving woman And taking care of everyone We all know that she's an angel We all know she's number one But take a little time We're taking care of number one Another day and you get older You know a woman's work is never done And you know the work's not over At the setting of the sun And she's a hard-living woman had to struggle all her life Just to keep her family happy It takes all her precious time But take a little time For taking care of number one Another day and you get old you know a woman's work is never done 
And you know the work's not over At the setting of the sun So take a little time For taking care of number one Another day you get older You know a woman's work is never And you know the work's not over At the setting of the sun Yeah, you know the work's not over At the setting of the sun Okay, now I'm going to sing a song... Um, that I wrote for the angels in our lives. So this is a song for you. I sort of recognise that, you know, the angels in our lives are the ones that are right next to us. And it could be your mum, your dad, your sister, whoever they are. Um, Picked me up at the Hotel Darwin Took me down to Old Frog's Holler Well, thanks for the ride And I was broken, you gave me a dollar And I was lost and I had to follow While you drove along Well, it's hard to be But I swear that it's true, darling Cause I saw angel, I saw angel, I saw angel Yeah, I saw an angel, I saw angels Hanging out in town My father, David Mills. I saw a man with a pick and shovel trying hard to earn a dollar and working too hard. My mother, Kathy Mills. I saw a mother with a baby crying, nursing her till she's softly sighing, patient and strong. Well, it's hard to be. But I swear that it's true, darling Cause I saw angel, I saw angel, I saw angel Yeah, I saw an angel, I saw angel Hanging out in town Okay, what's the next one? So many songs, and they're coming all the time. I think I'll sing um, So Here We Are, which is a really beautiful song about, you know, there's so, sometimes there's so much stuff that needs to be done, so much stuff that needs to be addressed, and we just don't have enough time to do everything sometimes. And this is where this song came from. It came from a position of me, like being a bit overwhelmed and wanting to do so many things and... And it's like, you know what? You can only do what you can do. And if it's just passing something on or whatever. Anyway, this is a song and it places you in a lovely place in wherever you are in the world. So here we are, my friend. In our little corner of the world And wondering what we'll do with our lives In the trying days ahead 
Millions of children born every day And what will they ever say If we go out and leave a mess How will they find their way And hungry people everywhere While we have lots of food to share And why do so many have so much And others not at all And wondrous creatures of the sea Are poisoned by the ways that we bleed Into their pristine waterway How will they survive? And people fighting everywhere As death hangs heavy in the air A sacred life is stripped away A sacred life indeed Cause we're all human after all sisters to the creatures of the land and sacred children of sweet mother earth the moon and the star and so here we are my friend in our Wondering what we'll do with our lives In the trying days ahead Cause we're all human after all Brothers and sisters to the creatures of the land And sacred children of sweet mother earth The moon and the star And so here we are, my friend How was that? <laughs> um, another song is, uh, came about by me, uh, probably feeling a little bit Alone at times. Walking down these empty streets, I hear a distant call, distant call. One of my old dear friends with that knowing smile, knowing smile. <clears throat> yeah, with that funny little look that says, I told you so. Yeah, 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 with that funny little look that says I told you so, <laughs> yeah, 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 and here I am alone again, yeah, 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 and here I am alone again, yeah, 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 my mind Distant past, distant past Wondering how it was that it went so wrong, so wrong Yeah, those funny little things in the back of my mind Back of my mind Wondering if they'll ever turn out right And he Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
my own again And here I am alone again Yeah, yeah, yeah And here I am alone again Yeah, yeah, yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah Here I am alone again Yeah, yeah, yeah And here I am alone again Yeah, yeah, yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah Well, here I go again One of my favorites. <laughs> okay, um, this is a song that I wrote for a loved one. Um, when they left and suddenly. not right. Sorry. You slipped away <coughs> when I wasn't there <coughs> and I didn't get to say yeah, just how much I care. Remembering the good time that we had through the years brings real joy and happiness to all of these tears. And I'll always love you. Yes, I'll always love you, even though we're apart. Holding your memory here in my heart. Yes, I. I didn't write a song list, did I? Duh. <laughs> but anyway, it'll come to me. Um. I'll be the one who stands at your door. Okay, now because of uh, what's happening in the world at the moment, um, thank goodness I'm being able to present my music live on YouTube and digital and all that jazz, which <laughs> is something we didn't have back in the day, and it's a wonderful thing. However, earlier this year, or right now actually, I was meant to go on tour with a little story um, that I made for children with puppets. I should have bought, I was crazy, I should have bought the puppets in, but 
um, which tells the story about a little owl, what we call Mook Mook here in Darwin, in Laraki language, we call him Mook Mook, who flies around and I have all the puppets and then um, it was going to go on tour to this right right now, actually this month, but because of the um, pandemic that's happening at the moment, it's been cancelled. Um, however, it's going to be recorded like this at some point and it'll be available. But I made some beautiful little songs. In that, in that story, there's all these beautiful little songs. So I'd like to sing a couple of them. Um, they're aimed at little children. Um, so they're very short and sharp and beautiful and cute and they're little dance routines and everything that goes along with it. So I'm going to sing a couple of them. Um, like the little... Uh, what happens is the little muk muk owl has got his shell necklace, which is made by his grandmother and his grandfather. All the shells were gathered from all the important places all around country. And so it was very precious to him. So one night when he... And he never takes it off. Little Al never takes his necklace off. But one night it breaks and it falls into the deep water at Damabilagua, which is a place of the Barramundi. Anyway, he's crying and crying because owls don't go in the water. He's crying and crying and crying. And all the animals gather around to help him. So in the process... There's a bit of a story, but one of the stories is the animals do succeed in helping him retrieve his necklace, and this is a song they sing. Oh, no, I should sing you the other one first. The first opening song would be, um, I can see you, but you can't, because you know what owls are like. You can always hear them and like, oh, where are you? You can never see them. But, yeah, this is what we say the little song that he sings is, I can see you, but you can't see me. Sitting up high in the top of the tree. I can see you, but you can't see me. Sitting up high in the woolly butt tree. And that's the little Mook Mook song. Anyway, he, uh, all the animals help him and they get his, end up getting his necklace back and fixed up and given back to him. And one of the songs is, um, We know how strong we are When we all work together. This is for children. <laughs> And adults, we know how smart we are when we all think as one. Joining our hands together isn't hard. Joining our hearts and minds isn't hard. No, no, no. Because we know how strong we are When we all work together And we know how smart we are When we all think as one Joining our hands together Isn't hard Joining our hearts and minds isn't hard. No, 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 no. Well, that's one of the deadly little songs. There's quite a few. There's another one, um, the Dugong song, Dama, Dama Dangala. In Larakia language, you call him Dama Dangala. That's the Dugong. Um, and there's a little dance to this one. <coughs> get the children to stand up and do the little dance going down to the deep water and the flapping of the tail when you hear um, where the dugong like to play. Anyway, I get all the children up dancing. It's really good fun. Way, way down in the water where the dugong like to play, where the dugong like to play. Real, real, real deep water. Where the dugong like to play, where the dugong like to play, there are lots of fishes. Where the dugong like to play, where the dugong like to play, real, real, real deep water. Where the dugong like to play, where the dugong like to play. Well, maybe for just one time. We could leave our cares all behind And dive into the water 
with a dugong play. Way, way down in the water, where the dugong like to play, where the dugong like to play. Real, real, real deep water, where the dugong like to play, where the dugong like to play. Well, there are lots of fishes. Where the dugong like to play, where the dugong like to play. Real, real, real deep water. Where the dugong like to play, where the dugong like to play. Well, maybe for just one time, we could leave our cares all behind and dive into the water where the dugongs play. To do on the Damadangala song. There's a couple more songs. Um, friends, uh, I'll sing the owl party. You know, when we get a bed, <laughs> the owls go out and about. And this is a little funny little song for children and adults. I tell you what, when I sing it to adults, they're like, what's that song you sing? They actually get more fun out of it than the kids sometimes, I think. Um, where are we? Uh, when it's late at night and you're trying to sleep and you hear a noise coming from the creek well that's really strange and you try to guess what you think you hear is it in your head or is it in your ear? Well, that's really strange. Grandfather told me a long time ago how he always knew where those night owls would go, how to fly up high, up high in the woolly butt tree. In the woolly butt tree And Grandfather said That I don't know What they do All night long What they are doing Is having an owl party I knew it, I knew it It's an owl party Yeah, yeah That's what those owls get up to, partying all night. <laughs> okay, I said woolly butt tree there. I just thought at the time when I said I thought, oh, well, I don't know if people know what a woolly butt tree, but um, and they're probably not anywhere else. They're here in the Northern Territory. Um, I don't think I've seen them past Alice Spring, but then again, I don't get it that much. But they're a beautiful tree, uh, lovely native tree. Um, they've got. Uh, thick bark right up until about halfway and then about halfway all the bark falls away and there's just these beautiful beautiful clean white branches and it's just really lovely um, so that's the woolly butt tree for you if you hear that song high up in the woolly butt tree so the beautiful thing about my little story the little muk muk story little, it's called Witladla um, it's quite unique because I made all the puppets myself and I only made them how I know how to make them, which was not like a traditional puppet with strings and all that. I made them um, out of soft sculpture, like material. Painted them on the material, cut the material out, stuffed them up, made these beautiful little puppets. I should have bought them, I'm an idiot. And then, um, and yeah, they. so the good thing about these uh, is they've all got their Larrakia names, which... Larrakia is a Larrakia language is from here, my father's and my grandfather's people. Darwin is built on Larrakia country. Um, <clears throat> so all the animals have got their traditional names, like the mukmuk for the little owl, and we've got the datlawa 
for the frill neck lizard. You name it, the frill neck lizard. A lot of key people call him Dadlawa. Then for the barramundi, which you'll be very familiar with, we call um, Dumabilla. Uh, the freshwater turtle is Bunny Mudler. Um, who else have I got in there? I've got Juwaning, which is the um, hermit crab. And, you know, the hermit crab, the little tiny one, yes, Juwaning. And then we've got saltwater crab, Mudler. Then we also have Billawara, the black cockatoo, which flies out to Dungalaba, the crocodile, out at Darabanungalindi, which is an area here in Darwin. It's called, it's known as the Katarina Beach. And Larakia people call it uh, Darabanungalindi because at that beach there's a rock out in the salt water. <clears throat> it's a black rock. And we call it Darabanungalindi because that's a representative of our ancestral hero that uh, shaped m much of the land. Every, every inch of Australia, people on country, people from the area, like here it's the Larrakia people, down Bachelor region it will be the Kungarakan people, then it will be the Jao and then the Catherine Mitbullock area, then you have the Aaron de Pichinjara down in the Alice Springs area and it goes down right down to Sydney, Yuan people, Wurundjeri people around Melbourne, the Gunditjmara around the, you know, Western Victoria. And it goes on and on and on, all around the country. And people will have language on country and they'll have names for country. So my little story highlights Larrakia people, Larrakia land, Larrakia language, Larrakia storyline. Um, anyway, Dungalaba is a crocodile and Bilawara goes out there. So... I should have bought my puppets and I didn't think that. But anyway, I'll sing another one from that song. Um. You know I told you, you know, you know I showed you. When it goes like that, I'll be watching you. You know, you know I told you. You know, you know, I showed you When it glows like that I'll be watching you I'll be watching you I'll be watching you You know, you know, I told you You know, you know, I showed you When it goes like that should explain that a little, little bit more because um, um, it's kind of like it runs through at the storyline and it really uh, indicates, or no, is that the right word? It's really a suggestion that, you know, the land is alive, the land is watching, not only the creatures that are running around but the trees and, you know, the land is alive. We say that quite a lot, and that's kind of a story. Is, that song is kind of indicating that, but also in indicating a deep knowledge that we all have within ourselves. You know, like you sometimes have these moments when you, when you might have been struggling with something. You might not have been struggling, but you just have an instinctual. I knew that, and and you do it, and you may never have done that before in your life, but it comes to you. And because it's that deep inner knowledge. So that song is a little bit of those things. It's, it's really kind of a little bit magical because in the play it's about um, at the important time when the, when the necklace was found, there was a combination of elements of the barramundi, all the animals working together, the full moon, because when the full moon is out, everything's bright. It's almost like daylight. So it's a little bit of magic, but it's also a little bit of, you know, real stuff like the moon coming out and then creating this uh, situation where the, the shell necklace was actually sh sparkling in the bottom of the deep water. So all those things, but a suggestion of a little bit of magic. And, you know, we all got magic in our lives if we care to take the time to actually 
pay attention and acknowledge it and be grateful for it, you know, and even be guided by it, you know, a lot more in our lives, you know. Um, okay, just because I'm just thinking uh, of another song. I'll sing Waltz and But Matilda. Now, this is not my song. It's an old song. It's been in the family for a long time. Um, it was sung by my grandparents and us girls, me and my sisters, Ali, Bob and Violet, sing it over and over and over again. <laughs> you know, we could sing it five times in a row and the people would sing it again, sing it again. Anyway, it's Waltz and But Matilda. It's a song which has got mis- mixed language. People might say call it Creole, but we might call it broken English or some people might call it what? Uh, Pigeon English? Is that Pigeon English? Yeah. Creole. I think I probably lean more towards broken English. Um, but anyway, back in the day, my grandparents used to love to sing Waltzing Matilda. But of course, they could not sing Waltzing Matilda like, Waltzing, like how it's meant to be sung, <laughs> the original version. <clears throat> but they still loved it and they tried to sing it as best they could. So this is the version. <laughs> probably, um, and um, yeah, me and my sister sing it. Quite, my, I think my sister Ali's got it on an album, Alison Mills. Aji Buck Mills, she's got it on an album. But it's um it's one of those songs that we always sing at family gatherings and of course now <laughs> it was a closet song. Once upon a time it was a closet song that was only sung out in the backyard at midnight kind of thing, with only the family around. But anyway, now it's gotten out and people love it. And you'll hear the oh the language thing. You'll hear the language and you'll hear um for the for the sheep, it's bah. <laughs> I think that's so relevant because with a lot of our language, um, our indigenous languages here, a lot of the animals' names are actually um, the sound that they make. Like we have in the Kungaraka, and we have a little bird that flies around. And he goes, Doo-doo-doo. that's the sound he makes. Doo-doo-doo. You probably you might have heard him somewhere. Little, it's a little pigeon. Doo-doo-doo. Doo-doo-doo. So his actual name is. <laughs> you know, and so that's quite often the case. And so, in this song where they were trying to refer to as sheep, which they, you know, people from country, our people had never seen a sheep before, didn't know what they were, so all they did was call it what the sound it made, which was ba. <laughs> anyway, you'll hear it. And there's another funny story about that too, like, oh, parakut, which is a, a Kungarakan and Laraki word for white person, because. Again, everyone, there's over 1,500 different um, languages on, on Australia, indigenous languages, and everyone's, and they're distinct. They're as different as French and Indonesian or English and, I don't know, Chinese. Um, they're that distinct. Like I could, I could give you an instance where water, in Larrakia language, is Gorawara, water. And yet Kungarakan, which is a neighbouring tribe, like only... There's Larrakia country and there's Kungarakan country side by side. But the word for water in Kungarakan is koba. Now, how different could it be? Gorawara, koba. And then the next one, the other tribe next is Tiwi, which is a kuguni, you know? And the kuguni or Gorawara ngayu or koba, you know? So they're really, really different. Anyway. <laughs> Sing um, Waltz and Bat Matilda. It's great if you've got a room full of kids and you get them all doing the action. Some are sheep, some, some are policemen, some are the swaggies, you know. It's just bedlam, just the way you like it. Um. One bar guardia bin come up long a billabong Him bin sit down there long a coolibatry Him bin sing him bad crabbery Watch him bad him billy boil You fella come and waltz him but Matilda long a me Waltz him but Matilda Waltz him but Matilda You fella come and waltz him but Matilda long a me We been sing him bad crabbery Watch him but him belly boil You fella come and waltz him but Matilda long a me Bamba daran gari ya bin tira long a bila bong Him bin si dan de long a kuli batri Wedi mi yuki Purum bari kari ya You fella 
come and waltz some but Matilda long on me. Waltz some but Matilda, waltz some but Matilda. You fella come and waltz some but Matilda long on me. You been seeing him but Carberry, watch him but him Billy Bob. You fella come and waltz some but Matilda long on me. Bamba da dan gari ya bin kachum lang a bila bang in bilsidanti. We da dan nge, you bin purum lang a chaka bag. You fella come and waltz some but Matilda lang a me. Waltz some but Matilda, waltz some but Matilda. You fella come and waltz some but Matilda lang a me. We bin sing em but crabry. Watch him but him Billy Boyle You fella come and waltz him but Matilda long a me Well bum boy that and guardy I been jumping long a billabong You can't catch a me like one Nyingy and him kuruk de ching in a Inside long a billabong You fella come and waltz him but Matilda long a me Waltz him but Matilda Waltz him but Matilda Come and waltz him, but Matilda long on me. We been seeing him, but Crabry. Watch him, but him Billy Boyle. You fella come and waltz him, but Matilda long on me. But did you more, did you? But did you more, did you? But did you more, did you? Now, if we was live and his mill says Allison would be doing Crabry on the side here. <laughs> okay. What have I sung? Oh, I haven't sung um, I'll Bring You Home. It's a beautiful song. The inspiration for that one was actually um, when the troops were being sent away to the Iraq war and um, people all around the, the world were marching for that war not to happen. But anyway, it happened anyway. But the funny thing is, on that day, my profound belief in the power of people power <laughs> was severely dented because <laughs> I, I thought that many millions of people all around the world marching against that, uh, it wouldn't have happened, but it did. Anyway, this is a song that came out of that situation because I was like, okay, yeah, you can go and do that and you can do it. And, but guess what? I'm going to sing, sing you home, sing you back home safely. And this is where this song come from. I always imagine that this song, if, I, if it was sung the way I really, really dream about this song, is like having a choir, partic- you know, big choir and maybe a big choir of men. Um, anyway, I'll show you in, in a song. In the chorus. Well, you can say the seven seas And you can stay as long as you please My hope will lie away And you can live your life in another land Leave your prince in another man's hands My hope will lie away Oh On songs of love, on songs of love. Oh, here I'll bring you home. On songs of love, on songs of love. Well, you can find. Another man's fight, and you can stay as long as you please. My hope will lie away, and you can sow your seed in another land, leave your prince in another man's land. My hope will lie away. Oh. songs of love 
on songs of love. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I'll bring you home on songs of love, on songs of love. Well, you can sail the seven seas, you can stay as long as you please my heart fly away and you can live your life in another land leave your prince in another man's hand my heart fly away oh On songs of love, on songs of love, oh, yeah, I'll bring you home, on songs of love, on songs of love. Now this song, uh, this next song I'm going to do is um, called "When I Die," and it's actually it sounds like a sad song, and it is kind of. It's a strong song. It talks about um, death and how we deal with it, and that. But um, it came from a funny, funny place because my dad, before he died, he he died now. Um, <coughs> before he um, he used to always say, you know, oh, he'd come out <coughs> when he'd get a bit sad. He'd go, what's going to happen with your kids, you know, when me and mum are gone? Um, what's going to happen? And we'd go through, you know, he'd, he'd make me cry and he'd cry and, you know, go on and on. Anyway, this went on for a long time. <laughs> and one day I was like, oh, I can't, you know, this is making me too sad. So then I made up this funny, hilarious things to do list. So the next time he started, and I knew he wouldn't, <laughs> He started, oh, what's going to happen when me and mum die, you know? And I said, don't worry about it, Dad. i got it all sorted. And his eyes lit up and he's like, what? <laughs> I said, here, look, the, the things to do when you die. Oh, what? And I was like, yeah, make you a nice larrakia shirt because, you know, I make nice larrakia shirts. And, um, you know, we're going to do this and that. I had all these things and we were killing ourselves laughing. But... um. It brought me to a place of like, oh, yeah, well, you know, you know, people, a lot of, well, traditionally, like Larrakia uh, people, we didn't bury our dead. We put them up in the trees and there's a whole system of ceremony and stuff that we do differently. But because of the way things are now, well, people are forced to not be able to tr follow their tradition and do things this way. Anyway, so coming from that point, our people, and then I made this song, which talks about um, not being buried. And, so yeah, this is where it came from, a funny place. When I die, don't take me to the church, whatever you do. When I die, don't place me in a man-made coffin. And when I die, don't say the prayers of a white man on my head. And when I die, care for my children. Oh, 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 when I die. And when I die, let my sisters wash me in a cool, fresh water creek. And when I die, wrap my naked body in a paperback sheet. And when I die, Lay me to rest high in the milkwood tree And when I die, care for my children
Tell my story underneath the clear blue sky And when I die, carry on the ways of the old ancient ones And when I die, treat my children well so they will survive And when I die, care for my children Okay, now I'm going to sing, um, this may very well be my last song, I'm not quite sure yet, but it could be my last one, and it's a funny one. Uh, I write a, a lot of stuff for children, I love children, and they love me too, <laughs> but anyway, when Dad was uh, at the nursing home, we've got a little nursing home here in Darwin called Jininga, where a lot of our old people go, and my dad was in there <coughs> for a while. Um, and I used to round up the kids as many as I could at a time and take them down there. And what they'd all want to do, and the thing is that people, when all the old people would see me come and they knew that there'd be a sing-song happening and they'd all come out of their little cabins and all come out on the veranda and sit around and listen to me and Dad singing, having fun. But in amongst all that fun was the grandchildren all want to ride Dad's electric chair, <laughs> you know? And Dad, being a big kid himself, would let him. He'd be like, yeah, go for it. So the kids would be riding the electric chair up and down the Jininga nursing home footpath until it goes flat, you know? Well, Dad didn't care. Anyway, this is where this song come from. It's a funny little song. The children love it. Everybody loves it. It's addictive, so be careful. If you don't want to be addicted, block your ears. <laughs> It's addictive. And there's a part in there that goes, um, dit, 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 hey. And they get everyone singing that. The kids sing it, anyone sing it. The minute you hear it, you all go, dit, 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 dit. hey, everyone joins in. And um, yeah, it's one of the favorites. No matter where I'm singing, I could be singing in Sydney Opera. So yeah, right. But anyway, if I was, if my grandchildren are in the audience, sing, plug it in the wall, Nana, sing, plug it in the wall. I won't get out of the building without singing, plug it in the wall. This is a song, plug it in the wall. Tallene is riding Grandpa's chair and she knows she's not supposed to And she just made it really, really flat and she knows she's not supposed to And all them nanas are looking at her cause they know she's not supposed to But plug it in the wall, plug it in the wall, dit 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 Hey! Plug it in the wall, plug it in the wall, dit 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 Hey! And JD's swinging in the mango tree and he know he's not supposed to and Lena's walking on the fence again and she knows she's not supposed to. And Larry's out on the footpath now and she knows she's not supposed to. So plug it in the wall, plug it in the wall, dit 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 dit. Hey, plug it in the wall, plug it in the wall, dit 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 dit. Hey, and Tony is playing with mummy's phone and she knows she's not supposed to. And she just made it really, really flat and she knows she's not supposed to. And mummy is screaming at the top of her lungs and she knows she's not supposed to. So plug it in the wall, plug it in the wall, dit 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 dit. Hey, plug it in the wall, plug it in the wall, dit 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 dit. Hey, and grandpa's drinking beer again and he know he not supposed to. And he didn't take his medicine and he know he was supposed to. And now he's rolling on the floor again and he know he's not supposed to. So. Plug it in the wall, plug it in the wall, dit 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 dit. Hey, plug it in the wall, plug it in the wall, dit 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 dit. Hey, plug it in the wall, plug it in the wall, dit 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 dit. Hey, plug it in the wall, plug it in the wall, dit 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 dit. Hey. And that's about it, folks. I think I'm gonna sign off pretty soon. I would just like to. Um, say, hope you enjoyed it. Um, I certainly did. I haven't been playing for a long time. My fingers are killing me now. That's what happens when you don't play for a while. 
your fingers get soft, just like. Um, anyway, I would like to thank CDU um, for this wonderful opportunity, bringing me out two years old, being able to sing live. And I'd like to thank my wonderful sound man there, Mike, and Mr. Francis Deschenko and Mr. Louis, the sound man, all the people that have helped this wonderful performance get together. Um, uh, it's, it's a wonderful thing. And it's one of the, I suppose, one of the nice things that um, this unique situation in the world today is happening for us, that we're having to do things a little bit differently. And um, this is one of them. I'm loving the experience of um, doing things a little bit differently. I'm old school, you know, <laughs> back in the day. And the gift of this this day and age 2020 with all its wonderful digital gifts it has, well it has gifts for us too as um, I'm singing in this beautiful setting um, courtesy of CDU online and going out to you um, with no interruptions <laughs> which is not the case when you go to live performance um, and beautiful sound um, supported by Michael there with the and um, I'm really enjoying it and I've only got a couple of minutes. Left. I suppose that I'd just like to s sign off saying um, greetings from myself and my family, my mum, um, the Mills family and of course all that key people. I didn't say in the beginning that, you know, we are crocodile people. The crocodile is very important to us, Dungalaba. And um, we're all still here in, in Darwin still looking after country, dancing on country, caring for country, doing our best to um, be our best and do our best in this day and age. And um, yeah, maybe one day when all this um, world heals, with what we are currently dealing with, maybe you might have the pleasure of coming down to Larrakia country, meeting Larrakia people, um, having some singing and dancing. We actually did for the first time this year, there was actually a national dance around Australia and we did one here in, in Larrakia country. We did it down at um, East Point, which is an important place for Larrakia people. All, all of our country is important, of course, but this is where we did our national dance. And that was the first time that a, a, our traditional dancing had been done on country for a long time. And it was a wonderful thing, but it was it was a national dance, and um, it was a wonderful thing. But you, you know, you may come to Darwin, Larrakia country. I wish you do. You would love it. I can't tell you how many people have come to Darwin for a stopover, for a one night, before they hook up and go somewhere, and they never leave. <laughs> and, and then people go away, and then they come back. They think, oh, I'm going to go back. No, they come back. Darwin's beautiful as I guess your place is beautiful too. But um, yeah, we love our fishing and music and all that stuff and hanging out. One of the things that I grew up with um, all my life, the Mills family, we've, we're quite famous for backyard sing songs, sitting around drinking and eating and singing songs till the early hours of the morning. It's the greatest thing. Um, and I guess you do it too in your country in your way. We can't live without music. Can you imagine the world without music? <laughs> so there's to music. That's my little um, contribution to music tonight. That's, I probably missed half of my songs, but um, maybe another time you'll catch me. Oh, that's what I wanted to say. That's right. I actually just went on to TikTok <coughs> last night specifically for today because I wanted to be able to say, if you want to check me out, or some other songs which I might have forgotten to sing today, <laughs> or, or some because I am a multi-skilled artist. I do paintings, I do puppet shows, I do kids stuff. I did all sorts of stuff, you know. Um, so I made a TikTok page last night, didn't I? Because I my son showed me <coughs> TikTok. So I'm going to say to you now, you can find me on TikTok, although there's nothing at the moment, <laughs> but there will be <laughs> in the next um, little while. Maybe this afternoon I'll do some more songs that I might have forgotten today. But look for me on TikTok and it's called scrub fowl. Scrub fowl is a little uh, little fowl that is in our country, uh, Larrakia country. It's a little, it's like a little chook about that size and you've got strong 
orange legs. They mate for life, those little fowls. So, you know, if anything happens to one, you should kill the other one or other because they, they pine for each other. They mate for life. Uh, they're making eggs all the time. They build a big mound, a big mound as big as a car. And they have lots of eggs in there. But, yeah, they're beautiful little fowls. Anyway, look for me on TikTok. My name is Scrubfell, even though it's Junie Mills. I mean, you might have Junie Mills, Gunlucky, Good Billing, or Malaguligi. But um, look for Junie Mills on TikTok. And I do have a Facebook, but I, I'm going to go to TikTok now because it's going to be short and sharp and interesting and very easy to access. So love to you all. Peace to all. I hope you all achieve what you're trying to achieve with your lives, you know. I was having a giggle about the term TikTok and I said, yeah, why TikTok? Because TikTok, the old time no, waits for no man <laughs> or no woman or no nothing. Time does not wait. So get onto those things that are important to you in your life, you know. And here I'm talking from an old lady, like I got a lot of things to do. I got a lot of things to make for my grandchildren. I got a, I got a bit of a, I'm not going to say bucket list because I don't want to kick the bucket, but I'll say I got a to-do list that I got to do. Um, writing lots of songs and lots, doing lots of things and TikTok, time waits for no one. Bye, love, peace and chill out. Achieve your dreams.